I want to continue with the data set that we dealt with in 3740. Remember when we converted a feature line file, a river file, to a raster layer? We discussed how to set map extent and snap raster and a mask. The resulting raster has adopted the line features chosen here, the river type. So we see here three types of rivers already shaded in the various colors. So when we query this raster data set here, I query this point there, and we have here a recurrent stream. In green, I have an indefinite stream, so constantly flowing stream. But what about the values that are away from rivers? So wherever we click outside a river, you will see that we have no data values. And no data values can be a problem when combined in raster analysis, because anything that deals with no data will result in no data. We simply don't know what to do. So for environmental modeling, for ecological modeling, for suitability analysis, for constraint analysis, for cost path analysis, for a host of other analyses, we would want to avoid no data value, which means we have to convert the no data value to actual data values. And we can also visualize the data by going to our symbology, going to mask and giving the no data value any kind of value. Let me just choose a light yellow here. So now you see all of these light yellow values, of course, are no data. They will not appear in the table of contents, except if we add them by hand into the symbology. What we usually want to do is we want to convert our no data values into data values, and we can do that in several ways. The one way is using the isNull command, and you see here that the output raster will give you an integer value of 1 when the cells are no data and a value of 0 for any other value. I want to apply the isNull command not directly in the geoprocessing tool. I want to apply this in the raster analysis tool. So using the raster calculator, I can find an is null command near the bottom of all our available commands. Under logical tools, here's our is null command. A reminder again that all the tools here in the raster calculator are case sensitive because it's a Python script that we're executing. Python is case sensitive, so remember how is null with a capital I and a capital N. I double click here, and in my case, I want to do the command for my raster 4. So this is this one here, and all I'd have to do is double click on here and give it an output file name. And I've already done this. I called it is null r4, and I'll show you how the result looks like. The result looks like this. Everything that was a river now is zero, and everything that is not a river is one. Not a very useful command, and in particular, we just lost some information about the type of river that may become very useful and important at a later stage in our analysis. We can use now a nested command using this application here and saying, well, it's true if it's one, then do something. And if it's a river, then do something else. And we do that with a con command. The con command is our conditional command, like an if statement. So if I put the con command here, and now I'm going to have a nested 
command where I'm saying this is my condition and if this condition is true if this was resulting in a 1 then I will give it a value in my case I want my no data values to become zeros zero and if this is false if this is not no data in this case if this is a river cell then do something new in this case simply copy the existing values from my river raster data set in here so I'm simply copying this in and that is what we do when it's false I give it a meaningful output raster file name I've already done that here I call it the con r4 and let me show you how this looks like here now we instantly see we have four values one for no data and then our three river values and in this case we only have values of one two and three because the raster calculator here does not deal with strings so it simply numbers our uh, river types one two and three but of course it's easy to go back into the sym symbology and uh, copy these values over maybe by hand in this case because it's only three values directly into our layer so this nested con command with the is null is one way how we can deal with this there is a second option which for many of you uh, may seem a lot easier which is using the reclassify command the reclassify command my input raster is the same raster, my raster 4 TIFF file. Reclass field is a value, that's all that is inside. Let's look at all the unique values that are inside. Values 1, 2, and 3, and no data. And now all we need to do is change the value of no data to 0, give it an output file name, and hit run. And here is the result of this reclass. In essence, identical, just changed in colors, but identical in values. And here now we see 0, 1, 2, 3, and 0, 1, 2, 3, because that is how now hard-coded. And now either of these two results are very useful for further overlay analysis. So please remember when you do a feature to raster conversion, it doesn't matter if it's a point or a line or polygon, you may have to do some additional analysis to convert no data to something that is meaningful for your analysis. That's all for today. Until next time.